Welcome. On this video, we're doing a hands-on product review of SK Telecom smartphone-powered education robot, Albert. So if you want to see how this bird-like robot works, then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com and on this video we're doing a full unboxing and reviewing of the Korean smart robot Albert from SK Telecom. And don't forget guys, if you're looking to find out where to get your hands on Albert or any other robots in these videos, then please visit my online Robofield store. Right, hi guys, so here we have uh, our Albert smartphone robot. So this is the box you get and if we open it up, we will get another box and inside this box we have our Albert. So there he is. So we have got some holders, from phone holders. So I'll put those aside for a second. And we will pop Albert out of the box. And there he is and we'll put the box to the side for a second as well. Just so you can see for the camera. Um, obviously there he is. Now I believe if you switch him on straight away and keep him there, First thing that comes on is the automatic mode. So we'll give him a few seconds. So he's got two sensors on either side of his, uh, his left and right. So if I put my hand in front, there we go, that's right and that's left. So that's just the automatic mode. So he's working straight out of the box, getting up to mischief. Right, okay. Right, so the next steps, are to uh, have a look at the Albert phone system. So I think out of the options you get, big one, small one, I think that one is likely to fit my phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy 6. Oh, let me just switch them off. I was going to come and play him. Slot that in there and then get your phone and you can up raise Albert's head. So it pops up like that. So we will pop it in, and there we go. So that's how you easily clip on to the robot to use the phone. And we'll go through some of the phone features uh, a little later on. So let's take it off again so we can run through some of the specifications. Right, so what we have with Albert is a, a whole host of sensors. And uh, this is the, obviously the best way uh, to learn about robotics, uh, to actually learn how the sensors work and then you can understand how the robot works. So it's got uh, two times proximity sensors, which are uh, these little devices here, the left and right. It's got an uh, optical ID sensor. It's got two of those. So this is obviously around uh, th th this section here. Uh, two LED eyes. So uh, obviously he, he can see. Uh, the mobile phone stand is obviously here, as I was shown earlier. Uh, the on and off button is at the back uh, along with the USB port. It's got light sensors, temperature sensors, uh, battery level sensor. Uh, the motors are two DC motors, so obviously that's what makes the Albert move around. Uh, the LEDs are full, full color LEDs. Uh, it's got a blue LED for card reader, so I'll show you the cards a little bit later on so we can get it moving. It's got a 1.5 watt speaker, a buzzer, and uh, obviously, yeah, as I was saying about the battery recharging. So the actual size of, um, of Albert, the, the width, length and height, so the width is 11.5 centimetres, uh, the length is 11.6 centimetres, the height is 12.8 centimetres and the weight of the robot is 250 grams. The robot has a wireless auto connection and Bluetooth. The battery for Albert lasts about five hours for continued operation and it has about seven hours standby. So we'll just switch them on quickly there. So that, that's a good long life. Right, so first off guys, uh, like I said, you've, uh, you download the app. Uh, here's the app here, Smart Robot App. Uh, the robot market is on the left hand side and uh, the coding uh, is on the, on the right hand side. So if I click into the coding and the first thing we're gonna have to do is have a look at Stack Mini. So upload Stack Mini, here you have a choice. So we go to Hello Albert and this is the basic uh, principles of coding. So Stack Mini is obviously just dragging blocks around. Uh, you can see I've already actually been in here, so I'm just going to go to number one. So what it does, it uh, gives you an explanation of what you're trying to do in the game. So puzzle one is called hello, 
nice to nice to meet you, my friend. I'm Albert. I'm here to look for the crystal. Could you help me say hello? And then if you scroll down, it actually gives you a little example of what you have to do in the coding program. So let's try it out. Here we go. So here's the blocks on the left hand side and obviously your workspace areas on the right hand side. So I simply hold down with my thumb, drag it over. It's now in the working area. And if I hit play, Right, so that's how the, uh, the Albert robot said hello. So let's go to the next puzzle, just to show you another example. So let's go move forward. There seems to be something ahead, please help me move forward twice. So again, it shows you uh, how to actually move forward twice in the behavior. Let's hit try out. As you can see, we now have a move forward block. So we'll click that and we'll drag it into the work area. And then we'll click it again, because it's asked me to move forward twice. And then if we hit play, make sure it doesn't roll off the table. There we go. And let's just quickly skip on to the next puzzle quickly. So let's see what we got. Puzzle three, what a surprise. Ark, what a large lion. I'm scared. Help me run away from it right now. Let's move back four times. So I believe that you can use this with uh, part of the board game, which has a, a zoo in there. So I believe that's the idea. So uh, here, move forward, move back. So we want to move forward four times. So this time it doesn't give you an example. It's, it's actually um, what wants you to work it out by itself. So move back four times. Let's give it a go. So let's go move back, move back, move back and move back. Let's place the robot and let's put him here and then actually don't fall off the table. And let's run the program. One, two, three, four. All right, well done. So um, just an example of that. If we just go back to number four, uh, the next one's asking to turn around. And if I, if I made a mistake and, and dragged the move forward block into there, let's have a look and see what happens. Oh no, we have moved the wrong block. So yeah, obviously you can see how it um, tells you you've done it wrong and then on the screen you can try again. Right, so that's a quick explanation of how to do use the stack mini. Right, the next one we're gonna have a quick look at is, uh, is the stack card game. So again, go into the app, uh, click on the coding box and we're looking at stack card. This loads up. So what the robot is, is waiting for me to do now is waiting for me to um, show cards in front of it so it can use its sensors to read what the cards are. So you have the card pack, which is this little pack here. Again, there's several packs you can get for different games. This is the coding pack. So I'm just gonna open it up and put that box down there. And as you can see from, from the packs, you have a whole host of different options you can get the robot to do. Sort of turn left, make noises, turn right, do the sequences, go backwards, flash, flash the LED, so a whole host of different things. So if I uh, just grab a few examples, so I'm just gonna grab the card pack over here. So we're gonna go and tell the robot to turn left. Let's move this up. Uh, then we're gonna get him to turn right. And then we're gonna get him to do a quick beep. And then we are gonna get him uh, to flash his green eyes on, which we may or may not see on the screen, but we'll show you an example of it. And this is very simple. So the sensor is, is underneath the, the robot's front part. So we just go turn left. You hear a little beep and his eyes go flash. Turn right. You hear a little beep, it's turning right. And an actual beep. Oh. There we go, beep on that one. And then his eyes are gonna go green. I'm doing this back to front, that's probably why it's uh, not reading as well as, as, as it should do. Uh, so, okay, so then on the application, we, we then hit play. So there we go. Did it actually do all of them? That's a good double check. 
Left, right, beep, and then green eyes on. Yes, perfect. So there we go, guys. A quick example how, how the card game works. Right, okay, guys. We're now going to have a look at the board game that you get with Albert. This is the coding pack again. So we'll bring in a couple of boards. So that's one and it's one to three. I'm going to line that up for you so it's nice and straight. It does go to six, but my, uh, my table's not long enough to show you that, but it'd be fine for going to one to three. Put the robot, robot on there, and again, uh, we'll go back to the application, click on the coding, go into uh, the Stack Mini School this time, and we're going to go through the sequences and calculator. So, where is zero? So he's on the zero already, and you click into the calculator. Oh, uh, I've already done a few of these already, so I'm just going to go back to one. Right, here we go. So, um, same principle, um, but this time it, it's a maths game. So you want to drag in the blocks on the, on the left-hand side into the work area on the right. So I go with, with my finger or thumb, push it in, attach it up. So now we've got the number one, and if we hit run program, There we go, a nice easy way to teach some math. So puzzle one completed, congratulations. Now totaling 12 stars, I've got 12 stars. And if I hit continue, he will go back to zero so we can start the game again. There he goes. And so a little bit further this time, go to number two. So let's click number two. So obviously we're now gonna drag in two blocks, one and two, and run the program. One. Oh, there we go. He's made it to number two. Well done, Albert. Well done, Albert. We've got another 12 stars, and let's do a final demonstration to see um, what we've got to go. Step two, okay, to where to number three. So we're going to go to number three now. Uh, and this is fairly easy, this one. I'm actually going to jump one, actually, and let's go to version four. So we're going to, to number three again, but this time it's given us a couple of blocks. So instead of using three ones, we are going to use a two block and connect it up, and a one block and connect that up. And if we hit play. Well done, Albert, well done. He's made it to number three. So again, very nice, simple coding that you can quickly get your robot working. Right, and that's it guys. So your Albert, your smart, yeah, your smart code game and your board game. Squeeze that in on the left hand side. So those are part of, of the coding pack that you get with your robot. I'll just squeeze that in there. And um, what I'll do guys is I will do some tutorials on each one so you can have a little bit um, of a further dig on each of the applications. Thanks very much. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the Albert Smartphone Robot from SK Telecom. Please visit my Robofill online store if you want to find out where to procure any of the robots in my videos and find lots of other robots you can add to your collection. Now if you like this product review and want to see even more robot reviews then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Albert Robot. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.